So hi, everyone. So this is a tool that the DBSA Youth Challenge taught me, and that is to affirm why I'm here. So today, I'm about to make recycling cool and also tell you guys more about the impact of winning the first DBSA Youth Challenge. So speaking to you today is Kekelezo. I'm from a small town in the Free State called Sasselberg, and I am from a company called Ramzilo. Just to give you guys a brief background of myself, I come from a family of six, and growing up, my father had a construction company and would go to site often with him, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed how just a piece of land can be transformed to something so huge, whether it's infrastructure, a reservoir, or just roads. And I'd literally walk around with him and go into these huge pipes, and I was fascinated by excavators and TLBs, and I'd ask him so many questions, and I'd leave like, happy. That was my weekend for me. I'd go in the middle of nowhere in a caravan just to learn so much about basically nothing because you just start there and it's a piece of land and they're already telling you their dreams and their purposes and what they're going to do to this basic land. And so I started a construction company with my father in 2013. He still had majority holdings and opinions because I was still studying full time. And so sadly, that relationship did not stick for long. And then in 2016, I sadly had to hold my studies because of financial constraints. And I then decided to do this entrepreneurship full time. I, well, my sister is an auditor by profession. And I had to pitch a horrible, tedious pitch to her just to convince her to come on board with me. So in 2016, we then started a construction company together. And we started with a lot of general building projects. And that's where we noticed that we actually spent so much money on building materials, especially bricks. We then diversified into cement brick manufacturing. But because I'm very OCD about litter, it really does bother me. So I knew that I have to do something related to waste. And so I did my research about waste and recycling, but nothing really struck out for me. And Upon doing my research, I bumped into a grandmother who is a waste collector. So she collects waste just to generate money to have an income for her medication and also to raise her grandchildren. So she made me really focus more on plastic. And I saw an article in Sri Lanka where rubbish collapsed onto homes and rivers, killing people and polluting the environment. They needed a solution to housing and waste. And we then did a few research about bricks and plastic, and we didn't really like what was already in the market because we felt like it's not reaching our specific target market. And so we went back to the drawing board and we identified two major problems. One being plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is a global pandemic. There are so many overcapacitated legal and illegal landfills just in South Africa. And the second problem that we identified is water scarcity. Water scarcity is already a reality for us in South Africa, with water restrictions getting implemented and also dam levels getting reduced. It takes about one liter of water to make one cement brick. And on average, there's 10 million bricks manufactured daily. That's a lot of water used. And so we took it upon ourselves to make an innovative product that I'm so passionate about. And I'm often asked if I'm willing to start a fight because I come armed. This right here is our plastic brick. This brick is made out of 100% recycled plastic. And in the manufacturing process, there is no water or cement use. So because it recycles 100 pieces of plastic, it has sand and other additives that make the brick strong, durable, and fire retardant. We wanted to maintain the same look and feel as a traditional brick, because when people hear plastic brick, they are shocked. Hence, I always have to go with this. So then I show you guys that it is real, it is a brick, and normally the weird thing that happens is people smell it for some reason, <laughs> and I, I really don't know why, and maybe you guys, if you want, you can just pass it around. <laughs> 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 okay, so, <laughs> so that's our brick, and in 2017, we actually had a brick that we were comfortable enough to, to take it to testing and to really just know more about your product, because we're really fascinated about something, but we needed to know that it works. 
And to our surprise, it actually has so many added benefits as compared to a cement brick. It has a higher compressive strength of 10 MPa, which means that it can start building from foundation upwards and it can build single and double story units. It is also more dense than a cement brick and it has an industry leading low water absorption rate of 1.1% meaning that it doesn't absorb as much water and the structural integrity of the brick itself is maintained. So over time, you won't see a lot of cracks and whatnot because it's less porous. So yeah, that is my brick, the plastic brick. And we are very passionate about it. And it's owned and designed from foundation upwards by my sister and I, my father, my mother, literally everyone. Because when we started, we actually started in my mom's yard. And believe it or not, I would wake up, go to a landfill, collect plastic, bring it back to my mom's yard, and literally test how different plastic and acts to sand and other aggregates. And we had something that, I mean, when we started, everybody was just like, this is why she quit school, guys. Like, <laughs> this one has no direction. And seeing something that you really build from ground upwards is just, fascinating and you always learn something new which is why I really like and appreciate things like the DBSA Youth Challenge because as an entrepreneur this journey is is very lonely and it's a very tedious journey and so when I saw the advert on WhatsApp on these many groups that we had I just told my sister that let's just go let's just apply and see what happens and to our satisfaction it actually taught us so many things you know when you're in in an industry that's really main dominated and there's so many experts, you, you get tested in so many ways. And the DBSA challenge helped us to actually know the why. You know, we, you get into something and when it becomes big and exciting, you actually forget the why that drives you to make this big, that drives you to survive being in the heat, that drives you to wear, I mean, I was happy to wear these, you know, <laughs> I don't wear these often. So it, it, it gave me, a different outlook on life, you know, and it helped me as an individual because I needed to do something that I'm really not comfortable with, which is public speaking, you know, and the first, first time, I mean, normally these pitches go for three minutes, five minutes, and this one was like 20, 30 minutes, and I was like, what am I going to say for that long? I mean, <laughs> what else is there to say? And it was so intimidating, but what I liked the most is there was a two-day program you know, and through the two, the two days, the DBSA team was there all the way. And they were able to make us feel comfortable and they were able to actually put us at ease because you had questions, you had queries, you, you were very, like it was different. It wasn't something that we were all used to. The way that we presented, I mean, it's, it's so interesting to know that when I stand here, I, I think that you guys are gonna get and understand what I'm saying, but I really needed to put it in action and tell you guys that I'm here for this, so that nobody's lost, so that nobody's just thinking, okay, what is this child doing here? You know, and something that small changed my life in so many ways, because right now I'm confident enough to say, listen, this is what I want from you, and this is what I came here to do, you know? And it's, it's, it's actually great, because it, it astonishes a lot of people, and I enjoy that. When people look at me, they just see a child, like, what is a 16-year-old gonna do and say, you know? And then you come with a brick, something that, I mean, it's, it's a little bit boring, you know, like, we just build houses. And to have something that's, it's very, for me, it's close to my heart, you know, because I literally, I grew up in the location. So I saw how people struggle, you know, and I knew that I wanted to make a change. And then also something that's very close to my heart is literally, guys, it's so easy for people to litter, whether they're driving, whether they're just sitting, it's, it's so easy. And I just... I just wonder why. And I want to I wanna help and just make it known that it does bother people. And I think there's also people in the crowd who feel the same way about littering. So we kind of need to change it, you know, it, and it starts with us. And so when I did my presentation, it was nerve wracking. I did not know what to expect. And then I won first place. And it was, it was different. I did not expect it. And the question that I was asked was, what are you gonna do with the money? And I, and I, just, I just froze, because it's, it's literally something, it takes you a step further, you know, because you're thinking, okay, I'm here, my workshop is here, I'm doing this, and now you have this amount of money, and you're like, okay, 
what am I going to do? I mean, DBSA is something huge. I cannot just say I drive on, you know? It's, it's something that, that I needed to plan now. I needed to focus now. And it, it really changed me personally as well. And it helped me feel at ease because, guys, it's so life-changing to hear a person say, listen, I did not need a bank card, but now that I have a, a stable income from you, I need to go to the bank and make it. Something so easy for me, it just, it just made it worth it. Because you work so hard. I, I'm all day at the plant. I work with people. I am hands-on. I still go to the landfills right now. And so it's, it's really inspiring when people acknowledge your hard work, you know, when people receive it, not just say, okay, we see your product, but they feel it. It, it, it literally changed their lives. And it's something I'm proud of because today, because of the DBSA Youth Challenge, I can afford to pay people's salary. You know, and I can afford to have a vehicle that will be able to fetch the plastic and take it to the plant. And now we have actually diversified. We were from the Free State and now we went to Benoni. So our target market is really increasing and to have a support major as this one is just life changing. You know, and I really want to thank the DBSA Youth Challenge for this because this changed my life personally and also work-wise. It gave me so many opportunities. Now I'm able to pay an engineer just to help me case this machinery right because not only did we design the brick, but we also designed the machinery to make the brick as well. So you have everything inside of your mind, but you need to know that this, is, this will work because we need it to be a, a sort of an automated um, feature. So the machinery that we got we spoke to engineers, and that's because of the DBSA Youth Challenge, you know. And the other thing that I liked is that they're literally holding our hands. It's not like a competition you won't buy, you know. They just, they just, even individuals will call and just reach out there to know, okay, you have a family now, you know, you have support. We, we will help you in ways that you can, you can come to us with anything. It doesn't have to be financial. You can just come to us and we'll be able to help. So I'm really, really thankful for this opportunity and I hope that it can really grow and help more individuals like myself because entrepreneurship, guys, it's not as glamorous as it looks. And it really takes a lot, whether it be female or male, it really takes a thick skin. And to help, to have help like the DBSA really helps one. Even if we don't see it or acknowledge it, it really does change and transform lives. Not only mine, but others that are working and have a sustainable income because of me. So I'd like to thank you guys for this opportunity.